It is uh, four o'clock in the morning, and Anana, I believe, is going into labor or is in labor. I really know how it works. It's early. All right, here we go. This was one of the longest days of my life. One that I'll never forget. Because at the end of it, Bye. I became a mother. First baby? Yeah. By now, you've seen our little munchkin, Nova. But you haven't seen how we brought her into the world and how this journey changed my life forever. Hi, you cold? I don't feel so good. She's not feeling well. Uh oh. <coughs> Yikes. So, this all kind of started um, back in our trip to Nicaragua in January. I kept waking up and having a stomach ache, and I was throwing up and stuff, and I didn't even think at all that it was me being pregnant. I thought I just, um, I don't know, I had like a stomach bug from something I ate. But um, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't that at all. One, two, three. We're pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. No, I am. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. When you're pregnant, I'm pregnant. <laughs> that means you can't eat nothing. Mm. You can't eat no junk food. Nope. No McDonald's. No the baby has Wendy's. To be no In and Out. No more mm. In and Out. Are we recording? After we found yeah. out, we decided that we wanted to show our baby what it was like to bring her into the world. Hello. Hi. We got a new camera. Keep going, I was, I was done. My mom's waiting. Yeah, you're right. All right. We'll talk about this later. So, we filmed everything. You look like Sonic the Hedgehog! What are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't do nothing. You did. Uh -uh. What is going on? It's another five. Is there like a standard size to how big you're supposed to be? I'm gonna research it. Does every girl develop differently? Cause like, mama's looking prego. Look, it's a little peanut head. Let me see. I don't know what it is. It looks like a blob. Ow, my boo. Oh. Getting pregnant was definitely a shock to us. So, um, just want to talk about this pregnancy because we didn't know what was happening. It was um, not something we had planned and it wasn't on my 2020 um, goals list or res <laughs> year's resolutions. Did you think that you were going to keep it? I honestly didn't know. I was really scared and I didn't think we were ready or in a stage where we should bring a baby. We yeah. were having some trouble, yeah, but all couples were, have trouble. No, you were up like, gallivanting while I was working in Winnipeg in negative 30 weather. I just didn't feel completely secure either. We weren't like, oh, let's get married next month and we're gonna like settle down. That wasn't like our plan. Right, but, but you could see yourself being with it, me. Obviously. And what did I do? Like, and you, you, you made me feel much better about it. Yeah, cause I'm- like, Whatever decision you make, I'm here. And that's just what I'm really lucky to have someone like that. This is what a real relationship looks like, <laughs> by the way. You know, if I'm being completely honest, I knew that bringing a baby into this world would definitely shift my priorities. Hello. And it meant that I, I couldn't put myself first or my work first anymore. I mean, basically, I couldn't be selfish anymore, so I was terrified. <laughs> These past few years, I've been super focused on building my career. I started on social media, I built a huge platform for myself, created a bunch of YouTube videos, directed, wrote, and starred in pretty much all of them. Then I decided to transition and doing more film and TV. We're going for makeup touch-ups and um, it's snowing still outside. So by the end of 2019, I wrapped a really cool Netflix series called Bruce Brothers, starred in a couple of movies, recorded some really cool music did a ton of brand deals, and I continue to create some dope content for my millions of followers. Today, we're right. doing flooring. So when 2020 kicked off, I literally had one goal in mind, and that was to not stop grinding. Okay. Yeah, so, what did we come in here for? 
I can do the L thing. So turn that, now it's not pregnancy. It's acting as if I'm not pregnant. Let me put my sweater on. Is it still rolling? This shit's way too bright. I'm very career driven and my career has always come first. And now I feel like it's this whole new thing of balancing a family. It's a family, it's so weird, I'm starting a family. He's in there and he's dancing, no? Yeah, this is the first time. Or he's just bashing his head on my stomach. But as more time went by, the more excited I got and Matthew got, and I knew that I had to figure out a way to adjust my life to welcome our new little baby. Tell us how you're feeling. Cranky. <laughs> Very. How can we change that? I'm cramping my belly and it's cranking me and I'm throwing, I'm throwing up in my mouth and swallowing it. Well, that's kind of gross. So by the time March rolled in, I was three months pregnant and definitely starting to feel the pregnancy a lot more. I just haven't been getting sleep. I have the worst heartburn every day and like when I wake up and in the middle of the night, it hurts so bad right now. This is getting pretty big. There were some ups and downs. I mean, I was definitely aggravating Matt a lot, but whatever, I was the pregnant one. I'm like tired but restless and I can't sleep. I'm trying to put the dishes away and I'm losing my breath. What? Good night. I wish I can lay like that. But for the most part, we were having a blast being pregnant. I feel like it brought us together. How do you feel about the heightened priority of providing for a new family? I thrive under pressure. <laughs> You've got great fluid around the baby. This head got bigger. Look. What is it? Oh my gosh, is there an alien in there? Extend your leg, because I've been getting leg cramps. Okay. But I'm really gassy right now. Like this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He probably feels like he's on a roller coaster. <laughs> and then suddenly, the entire world changed. What are we doing? We're gonna go prepare for the coronavirus. Oh, I'll never forget that day. It was the worst. We found out that we were literally on a lockdown. All of Los Angeles couldn't leave their houses. We could only leave if it was an emergency or if we needed to go pick up food. We're having a baby during a crisis and it's a national crisis. Everything is shut down, restaurants just closed. All gatherings over 10 people are to be avoided. It's really pretty serious. How are you feeling exactly? Nervous. It was freaking me out. I didn't know what to believe. Um, so we just tried to obviously cooperate, wear masks, wear gloves, and just be extra cautious no matter where we went. Put the mask on. We're going to Costco, guys. We're stocking up so that we prepare for the worst. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst, my dad always said. Even though we tried to make the best of it, it's day three of quarantine, and he's lost it. <laughs> it was very stressful. We were always used to going out and being free and doing our own thing, and everything was just completely shut down. Do you think Macy's is open? They probably have pregnancy clothes. Your destination is on the They're right. They're not open, it's a retail store. It honestly made no sense to me. Everything we would touch, it could possibly give me or the baby the virus. Oh, we gotta be super cautious for the babies because they still don't know what COVID do you, does. Do you think we need gloves to go into a medical building? Yeah. It was honestly insane. I felt like I was living in a completely different world. I was hearing so many different things about the virus. I didn't know what to believe. I mean, there was no clear rules on how to have a baby during a pandemic. I read and saw if, like, there's not really any stats on like what corona can do to pregnant women and like their baby. I don't know, it still freaks me out to go anywhere. And then suddenly, Matthew wasn't allowed to come to my doctor visits. This little heartbeat right here, this little flickering. Mm -hmm. 144, is that heart rate? That is excellent. Corona regulations are now saying that you can only have one person in the doctor's office at a time, no matter if you are the spouse, father, mother, daughter, it doesn't matter. I'm sitting out here talking to the camera because it's just so stupid. You literally come to all my doctor appointments. Yeah, like what? So we are just looking at certain structures in the brain. 
He's been moving around, or she. Yeah, I usually just have been going with he because I don't want to say it. <laughs> it was so heartbreaking. Um, I just felt it was something that we were so excited to experience together, especially like hearing the baby's heart for the first time and seeing her face and stuff like that. There's your little fist. Says her heart, a little fist. Keep the phone there. Okay. It was sad to experience by myself. I mean, we would FaceTime, but it obviously wasn't the same. I would do like group FaceTimes with my mom and my dad too. Um, but I just, I wish that they could be there with me and I wasn't, you know, alone at the visits by myself. Nothing's gonna stop us from having this moment. Everything has been super frustrating, not being able to have Matt now in the doctor visits. This corona shit's fucking up all the stuff for pregnancy, man. Yeah, because now I gotta experience it by myself and I don't wanna go to my appointment. I really hope and pray that this is over so I don't have to deliver by myself because I do not want to do that. So at the beginning, we thought that this was just like, I don't know, COVID was gonna be here and gone. Come on, last round. Last round. Jab, jab, jab. But as the weeks went by, we realized that it actually was going to be a thing that was gonna last. Look at our pantry, baby. Guys, we are prepared for this freaking quarantine. And I realized that since my dad wasn't there, we had to figure out how to tell him about the pregnancy. Luckily, my mom was with us, so she found out about the pregnancy literally when we found out, so she got to kind of experience it with us. Looks like a weirdo. It's yep. a person. But as more time went by and the more I grew, <laughs> the more we realized that we had to figure out how to tell my dad and it had to happen over FaceTime, which um, <sighs> it makes me nervous still thinking about. <laughs> no.